Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. We're kicking this thing off and welcome to the Nifty Morning Show. We are discussing NFT meme coin mania. We got founders dropping meme coins left and right after Sartoshi kicked off the playbook. We're going to discuss what might be coming next for ordinals after Oni Force and Inc. minted last week. And last, we're going to do a little state of the market, all things crypto price action with Nick and Kicks joining us today. Uh, I got a busy day from, from my end as I am going to the DMV. I got a bunch of points. I got an appointment with the bank, try to get a credit card before the uh, before NFT NYC. For people that don't know, I lost my wallet uh, yesterday. So not a great weekend for me. And it's- hey, Clemente, why don't you just read us your to-do list? Start with the top. <laughs> I mean, I was actually going to. I was actually going to because I'm trying to get. Apparently, you can't get on a flight if you don't have your your ID. They do some background checks. They start asking some questions. So uh, I'm like, I realize I I probably wouldn't be able to even check into my uh, hotel if I didn't have my ID. So not great. Um, but no, I don't think they ever check your ID, but they need a form of payment, which you don't have. Oh, which I don't have. I'm like, yo, you guys yeah. Venmo, Apple Cash? Is there <laughs> like this guy's sketchy, dude? <laughs> it's not good man and i'm like okay if i don't That's have my, i gotta have my i gotta look i hold my like if people id me i'm just gonna be hey man like yeah no hablo inglés came cross border yeah. last week <laughs> yeah yeah so kicks are you are you feeling any uh fomo for nft nyc this week you since you're, you're not going D- definitely a little bit you know mostly to see the mostly to see the friends um and to go to the you know Nifty Portal slash Bodogas party because uh, the one I went to two years ago when we had that like rooftop party, that uh, football player was there with a ton of joints. It was a good time, man. It was really fun. Loved the layout and like the venue and everything like that. And that was before Nick was world famous. Mm-hmm. So you you got to think there's going to be some paparazzi there this year. You know, definitely, definitely some you know ladies. I, I would I would caution Nick to be careful because there could be some you know, blackmailing attempts. Uh, He's Mm. at that level of fame and fortune that, you know, they're going to, they're going to try to catch him, you know, with some double mirror hotel room action and shit. You gotta, you gotta be careful out there, but I mean, it's gonna be a hell of a party. So he's gotta be careful, man. It's a, it's a, he's a hot commodity to say the least. And I will say kicks. So uh, we ran last comparing last year's, like people that wanted RSVP and, and everyone that wanted to come to our party, the, the demand that we had for this event compared to last was absurd, was absolutely absurd. So it's, it's gearing up to be a pretty wild party, uh, which I'm super excited about. So if you are going, uh, stay tuned. We're going to be sending out some emails, some uh, reminders beforehand, because it's going to be a hot one and you're going to want to get there as soon as possible. Uh, before we get started with today's show, I want to give a quick shout out to today's partner, Karate Combat. You may have seen Nick drop a video sharing that. Uh, David Hoffman and Nick Carter. It's going to be a little Bitcoin and versus Ethereum fight. That's going to be on May 30th at Consensus. Karate Combat 45 will be at Token 2049 in Dubai on April 30th. I just pinned up a tweet from Only LARPing from Karate Combat sharing the the stadium for it. They're going to be rolling 5,000 deep, but you can participate in all of this, you can. They got some risk-free betting going on. It's super fun uh, with their karate token. You can go to karate.com/app and you can receive 88 free karate tokens. Uh, in addition to uh, keep up with what's going on here with Nick and uh, David Hoffman, I saw some highlight reels yesterday after Pio shared them, and they look they look not bad. Um, they're definitely worth keeping an eye on they after that. They look fucking awful. They look like, look, like they just start, they're like uh, seven year olds uh, joining their Taekwondo class or something like that. It's, it's pretty bad. I'm going to need to see, in order for you to talk some smack, Nick, I got to see some some analysis or some kicks from you. Because I, I do think they, they didn't look great, but it was also their first time. And hold on, can I, can I share one thing? So if you look at this video, and for people listening, we're watching the, the Nick Carter video. If you look at the start of it, just watch the trainer. The trainer was pretending like he was dropping a fire kick. He goes like, just watch, 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 watch. Um, yeah, it's completely ridiculous. Whoa! He, he like he like tap tap the uh whatever whatever you call the thing that he, the guy's holding on his hand, the pad, 
Um, Can you run that back one more time? Yeah, yeah. Just watch. The- <laughs> Fuck these guys. Like it's uh, it, it's. I've never seen someone like throw a punch with their like shoulders. I don't know if that makes sense. Like all of his like momentum's coming from his shoulders, which is probably like the weakest punch of all time. He doesn't even move his legs. Like this, one of my buddies in like high school, like the, the one like I never liked fighting, but he he really thoroughly enjoyed it. And he said, you know, it's all in the it's all in the hip rotation. That's how you get the momentum in the punch. This, this guy's just stationary. So um, th- well, there's a lot of issues. Uh, with both of these guys, but neither of them follow me either, despite me announcing it. And <laughs> and it's uh, it, like, d- just fuck them. I'm gonna show up and I'm gonna beat both their asses. At Let's the same go. Time because this is th- this is pretty messed up. Um, what what they're uh, doing here and how I they've been treating me. Mm. Uh, no matter what. Um, the bankless guys they've never followed, and that that's just because they're stupid losers. And uh, Nick Carter is just a Bitcoin maxi um, who doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. So I'm interested in uh, seeing both these guys. I hope both of them end up on the ground, if I'm being honest. <laughs> just I, I, like, one, one of these guys is probably going to get like punched in the ear too hard and quit. That, that would be like my prediction. And go run off crying? Yeah. Like, yeah, I yeah, said no ear hits, man. And then he goes, hey, is it okay if I talk about the meme coins that I buy? Is that cool, guys? <laughs> and I said, well, David Hoffman doesn't trade meme coins. He just buys Ethereum and lets it sit there. No, he just said he's starting to get into meme coins. He's just, he said, I just sold a 25 Xer. What are the best socks money really? can buy? So he's getting into the meme coin game because it's well, he, he should unfollow your ass if he was. But uh, if he was following, just because. All your account is called like complain Clemente is what they should just call it the account. I don't know. Like it, you started with it like a shtick and now it's just become you venting. It's gone from you venting about meme coins to you losing uh, your wallet. Dude, uh, there's so many people don't, don't get me wrong. Losing your wallet sucks, uh-huh. but um, the way that you're talking about it, I've seen uh, many people lose their wallet and be like, yeah, I lost my wallet. It sucks. But, you know, what are you going to do? Anyways, moving on. Uh, I'm just going to proceed forward. You're you're like, oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, my wallet. The wallet is gone. I lost 20% on a meme coin trade. I think I did last night also. I'm going to be honest. I think I lost it, but I didn't tweet about it. I didn't say, oh, I lost $2,000. What was me? Uh, mm. d- dude, you, you got to come out with some big L's. Like, we need to see you lose 100 grand mm-hmm. and just, like, really devastate your life. That's the type of content that we're coming for, okay? We're not going to help you, but <laughs> I'm just like, like we want to we wanna see it. So right, right. If you're, you're going to be a train wreck, you have to destroy the train. Okay. And you're, and you're not going to help repair the train. You're just going to watch it. No, we want to laugh at you. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. We okay. may give you like a, a couple grand bonus for the year just because you've been working hard. But uh, like <laughs> that first I'm, month debt payment cake taken care of there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You may need to reach out to your parents or something like that. <laughs> uh, well, Nick, before we get started on the show, are you, I was asking kicks, but how excited are you for NFT NYC, given that you are one of the hottest bachelors in New York right now? I saw you on, on Instagram pages. I saw you on some, uh, some other mainstream, like finance pages earlier this, uh, <laughs> over the weekend. I'm curious what you make of the whole situation right now. And if you're excited for NFT NYC. Uh, well, nowadays, all I need to do is post selfies mm-hmm. and, uh, and I get millions of views. So that's uh, the, so am I going to be taking more this week? Probably, you know, uh, there's a lot of, uh, we have a lot of things planned. Uh, I don't want to reveal what the, what, what we're going to be doing. Um, but let's just say uh, I'm going to need like protection uh, from like all the people that are like coming after me. Oh, I, okay. I thought you were, referring- you were thinking about, you yeah, were yeah. Thinking about something inappropriate and that's, not what I'm talking about. Got it. Okay. Got it. Um, yeah, that's that's a situation. The other thing I, I've been really pissed off at is uh, I haven't been having such great track with the meme coin side of things either. Um, 
there's been some misses. Uh, did either of you get into a uh, nub? Nubcat? No, I did not. I saw yeah. it at two million, and I was like, I I have to be exit liquidity here. I don't know what. It, yeah, I think I bought the top, sold the the retracement, bought the top again. I think <laughs> I haven't. I've been sold. I'm just going strong. I think Nub, you know, Nub is the future of finance. Mm. Well, it's got um, 107 million. Uh, they have a hundred thousand followers on Instagram, which I thought was interesting. Uh, but other than that, I'm like, all right, what 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 else is there to see here? Um, it's already had a run. What do you mean? Time. What else is there to see here? What uh, what is there to see here with any other meme coin? Uh, this is a very positive looking chart. God damn it! I'm definitely you dead. like this. this, this is is this one, dude. This looks. Oh, this looks so great. Yeah, you're gonna want to buy in here. Um, wow. That hurts. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't. buy the chat. I don't. I don't buy meme coins. You don't? Nah, man. I mean, I. I, I have no edge in that stuff. Um. Uh. It, you know, I hella respect to people that do. Um. You know, there's some real smart meme coin traders out there, but I know what I am in meme coin land. That's that's exit liquidity, and I'm just not participating. I've had some good moves in there before. I had whiff at like very tiny levels, and then I obviously sold it for like a three x when it was you know hundred x. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Bless you. It's a sneezy morning over here. Love it. Um, the. Uh, thing i was gonna say is i i have like i do pay attention to the twitters uh there was also i i had a win actually so i, I said i lost but actually i also won on the uh what Muffer. do we call it mf -er. so i made some money on that well so, that was a good one yeah I just, I just don't trade it man i mean there's i'm sure there's people that are killing it trading magic the gathering cards right now I'm sure there's some guys just slaying the oil market I'm sure some guys are just doing option trades and biotech and crushing it but i don't give a fuck about any of that you know what i mean like I, I, stick, feel I, stick, I stick to what i know dude and what i know is dude i get into a meme coin i'm not gonna know when to buy and sell it there's there's no way for me to pick that and so i'm just gonna be refreshing the charts non-stop dude it's just gonna consume me and so now i'm just gonna buy my other shit I stick to that stuff you know uh, well, what I should have done that. I'll tell you that. Dude. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Every, see, everybody goes to the timeline, and they're like, oh, man, look at this guy. He's fucking making so much fucking money. For every one guy like that, there's like 99 that are like, they basically have a sports gambling addiction on crack. You know what I mean? And and there's also results. There's also survivorship bias, meaning everyone's going to tweet their one win and not going to tell you that they lost 10 times before that, and their PNL is up 2%. You know? That's like Everyone that goes to uh, Las Vegas and is all t tells me yeah. they're a big gambler, and you hang out with like that guy. He he's getting free tables at the club. Yeah, there's a reason. The, <laughs> the club where it's all dudes. Uh, like it's not it's not the hot club. You're you're at some uh, you're a block off the strip, and it's uh, things aren't. But you're getting a free bottle or something like that. But the guy, uh, you know, is playing blackjack, ten thousand dollar hands or something like that. It's it's pretty. Uh, yeah, those sorts of people do lose uh, typically more than they win. Well, hey, I don't know. I may change things up. We got a pro tip here from Coach. Learn some basic TA. Bet low and learn. Gotcha. Mm. I think I was messing messing up on that. You, you messed up there. You didn't you didn't yeah. learn how to I read the charts properly. I wasn't the betting one, low. They I say a high. They say trading the one minute chart or thirty second chart is definitely the best way. Yeah, I forget you gotta look for that tri triangle vortex setup on the meme coins. Yeah, that one. Look at that right there. It's the one second candle. Just uh, yeah. this is cooking, dude. It, it look looks at that. Like That's looking positive. Chemical. Coach, read us the chart. Put put in the comments what the move is here. Is that a buy? Wait, go. Is it, you're too far zoomed out, dude. On the one second. There you yeah. go. There we go. That looks like a buy. Look, Nub is absolute. Wow. Ever since I mentioned it, it's actually up. So. uh Shout out to everybody that's ape, aping in. You're going to want to hold this thing. Remember, it's nothing under a billion. Uh, did, did you see that bar stool sketch? It was sell if you're gay. 
dude, funniest sketch ever. You suck, dude. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I can't sell. He's like, hey, how's it doing? Is it doing well? No, it's doing terrible. I'm down bad, but I can't sell it. <laughs> oh man, that was great, dude. The, yeah, some funny jokes. I probably won't repeat just so I don't get close. Yeah, you can't say that on Transgender Awareness Day. Like, you're not allowed to. So, yeah. but today's the day after. Though. Yeah. That was yesterday. Yeah. That was yesterday. So the day after, it's, it's allowed. So uh, on that note, kicks, please uh, take it away with the weather report. We got a juice. The quote a gay joke day. It's <laughs> crazy today. Uh, today, uh, Monday, April first. There'll be no April Fool's jokes here. It's straight news. ETH market volume eighteen point five million. Solana fifteen point seven. Looking over at the NFT market leaders, Muffers up 33% to 0.53. Oni Force up 30% to 0.4. And guess who's back from the dead? Dead fellas are up a whopping 82% to 0.17 after Betty teases a little meat coin. Over on Solana, most collections were flat over the weekend. And on Ordinals, it's a battle of the anime PFPs with ink down 50%. To 0 0.033 and only forced the fallen of 50 percent to 0 0.025 btc and rsc rsic is up 25 percent to 0 0.05 what are we even saying right now these are all know, just a bunch of acronyms talk dude these are just <laughs> terrible names you guys name your shit better sartoshi launched meme coin muffers on base with a 20 percent allocation going to those muffers ecosystem holders with the coin peaking at just over 300 million dollar market cap it's since retraced to 175 that inspired other collections to follow with of course doodles founder poopy launching the poop token <laughs> capsule house launching anime token and betty from dead fellas te uh, teasing a feature launch of their own because she can't figure point, anything out dude another, she's just launch <laughs> Boba Opa, Boba Opa. What, what are we in a child TV show? Like Boba Opa after raising 41 million in pre-sale, proceeded to take uh, stake 29 million of it of, into Solana and supply the LP with the remaining 12 million. I love it. He took your money and he's showing you that the best way to make money is to stake it. The token dropped below pre-sale value with participants down over 50% almost immediately. Mache announced Sunday evening that he would start buybacks and burns and the current market cap sits at $62 million, up 40% in the last 24 hours. I was about to say, Machi's going to do some weird stuff. He's going to psy up some people. Over on Blast, Pac Moon's second airdrop period ends today at noon. And reward creators who posted Pac Moon related content on Twitter, Mr. NFT Nick was up there on that leaderboard. Pac currently sits at a circulating cap of $8.1 million, down 20% in the last 24 hours. Lastly, Solana crossed $200 again for the first time in over two weeks. And its leading meme coin, Whiff, reached a new all-time high market cap of $4.9 billion. And Jupe rallied 20% to a $2.4 billion market cap. Also a new time high. It's good to be bullish on Solana. Back to you in the studio. Dude, the Jupiter stuff is ridiculous. This Boba Opa, you, you still holding Clemente? I'm holding, baby. It's up 40% overnight. Let's go, dude. I'm only down 30% now. I'm, I'm actually... What do we think here? <clears throat> uh, I'm I, I mean, I'm holding here. I'm not. You can't sell it a thirty percent loss. I already. Yeah, yeah I, I'd hold it, man. Um, I, I everyone was like so mad at Mache. I'm like, you're playing right into this guy's hand. Like, he's literally like people don't even understand like how this stuff works. They think it's like some like wizardry. You know, what I mean, like some financial wizardry. Like the guy just set the LP, get no news, let all the weak hands dump out. And then he's literally just taking the money you gave him and he's just spot buying it. Like you can't, he's got $30 million to pump the fucking chart if he wants to, you know what I mean? And then guess what he's going to do with that? He's going to dump it on the top on you probably, but it's going to be a fucking masterful show. And he's just going to mind fuck everybody like 10 different ways. Mind fuck them, dude. That's what's about to go on. I like it. Is, it may seem like a good trade. This feels like one that uh, I almost, you know, want to, buy it i think i'm going to right now hey yo well keep us posted on that nick i am uh i'll be right there with you i'm holding a, a big bag easy's got some too um we're all down bad but you know i think we'll recover we'll recover but some stories from mean, we're all down bad i'm not down bad i've been mostly in solana we kept saying don't uh, like don't yeah. fade the trade man yeah. just stick in the trade what what the hell is going 
Everyone's trying to get smart, clever, and they're missing out on the on the serious games here, which is just literally hold on to Solana, Avalanche. What else do we say? Bitcoin. Yeah, it, it just sit in it. Getting fucking greedy, dude. They already have fucking dessert on the table, and they're like waddling over to the fridge to try to get another piece of cake, and they're you know tripping on the way over and get penguins no now. Uh, penguins uh some stories from daily Bo- from the daily bone you can go subscribe at dailybones.com it's sent every weekday morning very first story we had blackrock their new tokenized fund has brought in 245 million dollars in deposits in the first week so blackrock just continue to make some moves next story forbes featured co- uh the current CEO of Pudgy Penguins, Luca Nets, on their Saturday daily cover as Pudgy Penguins flip board apes over the weekend. I didn't realize they do a day, daily cover, and why the fuck was I not on it? I don't know. There's 364 other days out of the year, so your chances ain't bad. This is ridiculous, dude. I mean, I'm a little bit jealous of this guy. This is the first time we've seen him wear, like, uh, well, I guess he does wear the uh, the pudgy uh, puffer coat or whatever you call it. What, what's the, the varsity jacket? Mm-hmm. This was the first time I was like, oh, he's wearing something nice. Yeah, I mean, he drives. He has a Rolls Royce. I think he's got like a pretty like decent wardrobe. But whenever we see him at NFT conferences, it's like he's in like uh, shorts and a t-shirt. Yeah, he's, well, he's like trying to be like cool with the bros. Yeah. You know? uh, maybe so he's trying to pretend that he, he doesn't have money. Forbes a little different crowd. Yeah, for sure, dude. You know, if you like own a factory, you, you fucking park your Maserati like two blocks away, you know, and you walk to work. Hmm. Okay. Uh, next story, Magic Eden to teased support for runes uh, coming soon as runes anticipation is heating up with the having very, very soon. At, I think it's coming in three weeks, so we'll see how that plays out, uh, but definitely worth monitoring. Next story, crypto social media firm Merkle, which is behind uh, Farcaster, the, the Farcaster development company, received a one billion dollar unicorn valuation from paradigm as Farcaster network has exploded in activity over the last three months nick any uh, any thoughts on this uh about a random arbitrary funding farcaster okay. i just met her oh it's farcaster yeah why does it say Ma- merkel manufactory it's I, name of their company yeah got so it it's like meta runs facebook I mean, dude, Farcaster is blowing up with the whole D-Gen chain thing. That that was the whole L3 conversation going on this weekend. <coughs> Excuse me. Everyone hating on it. Um, look, it's blowing up. People liking it. Uh, I have a little bit. I, I've been on Farcaster, but for whatever reason, I didn't get any. Because other people got to tip you, so they probably just don't like you. Well, that's what I feel like. I feel like they're they're just hating on me. It's yeah. all pretty much the haters. Dude, like this entire industry is just made up a bunch of haters trying to come after me. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it, man. A lot of those guys are nerds. Dude, they're rich nerds, and they're keeping all their—they're hoarding all of their money. That's why they got to get really rich to offset how nerdy they are. Absolutely. I don't know, man. This is just this is just uh, bullshit. Raising at a one billion dollar valuation though uh, this early on is pretty baller. That's baller. Um, I don't know how fast they got to unicorn valuation but that may be I think they've been around a decent period of time like it like two years maybe i mean that's not a lot for a billion our caster has been around two years i don't know i kind of made that up but i feel like you know they've been working on it for a little bit i i remember we first covered it on the show about four or five months ago when it was first starting to heat up but i don't know how long it had been around since then i know thread guys has been printing off his uh dgen token um which I don't know, but we with that founded by Dan Romero and Varu Shrini uh, Vasan uh, in 2020. The okay. protocol, yeah. So that's uh, it's been around for actually a surprising amount of time. That said, if you look at another area, it says 2021. Um, yeah, and Sarah Scripps says she signed up in 2022. So how much did you get airdrop, Sarah? What 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 the hell is going on here? What and why didn't you tip us off about it at that time? 
Yeah, what we need is some sort of intake process for some alpha. Because what I think a lot of the times happens is our audience just cooks. They take some of our alpha. It's a one-way street, right? Versus they don't give us any alpha to us other than when they're trying to use us for exit liquidity. So I don't know. I just we got to shake them down a little bit like the mob. At this point in time, it's literally uh, uh, Clemente is like the counter trade. So it, it's anti-alpha is, is what you're looking for there. We Did fall down a trade at a point in time in our life, you know? Uh, r- real quick, had this conversation this weekend. Do you know, like, there's uh, different generations, right? So you had Gen X, then yeah. you have us millennials. Yeah. And uh, Clemente, are you are you millennial or Gen Z? I'm a Gen Z. Yeah, yeah. Gen I, Z. I you know what comes media. after Gen Z? Is it Gen Alpha? It's Alpha. Nah, What's that? Zero, zero alphas in that generation. Maybe a few guys in the football locker room that are taking a shit ton of TRT. But other than that, not a single one. Well, I don't think, I think the oldest alpha gen, generation person is like six. So yeah. I don't know if they're taking TRT just yet. Maybe a different kind. <laughs> Let's not get into that. <laughs> what? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Nick, are you, you are not a boomer, right? You are a Gen X? No, actually, sorry, I misplaced. No, I'm not. What do you, what the hell are you talking? I'm not, wait, hold on. Did he say you're not an actual boomer? No, you're Gen X though, right? Or are you millennial? I'm technically a millennial. Got it. Well, there you go. Technically. Called a geriatric millennial. Ah, does that mean like old? Yeah, it means like if you had like childbirth, they have to like scan your uterus more. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Well, let's get on with the show. I want to talk briefly about NFT meme coins launching which seems to be the latest craze. The only thing that NFTs are basically doing right now is just launching meme coins. We had Sartoshi drop MF for that. got up to 300 mil. Poopy dropping dollar sign poop. Uh, and I think only giving like 11% to doodles holders. And then we had anime. You saw the anime token coming from Azuki. We had Capsule House front run it. They dropped that. And now Betty teased a meme coin for Deadfellas, which caused the best price action Deadfellas has gotten in the last 12 months. So. There, there really? has to be less than there. Dead fellows are up 2x to a 0.2 ETH floor after sitting at 0.16 no, right now. A little, little bit of a dip, but they got up. They got up there. Um, Nick, what do you what do you make of this action? It it feels weird. I, I don't know. You've been more plugged into it on the meme coin side than kicks. So I want to start with you, but what do you make of where we're at in the meme coin mania? We have whiff up to a new all time high, up to a four four billion dollar market cap what do you make of what's going on right now it's been hard to keep track of uh i mean it's basically like stay on the twitter timeline all weekend wait to see what happens i don't know where the what groups are the best ones to be in with nfts it was very straightforward you hop into discord and you scan through uh, as many discords as possible um but i don't know man this is collections the whole argument well, Beanie said you should launch a meme coin if you have a dead collection. That would make sense that then dead fellows would launch that, not because they have dead in the name, but just because um, they've been trying to stay relevant and figure out a way to make money. Uh, like uh, Betty launched, what was it? They were going to launch a game and then they like sold 10% of the tokens. So they did a, they try to do a trading card game and that'll, that sold a very small amount of their supply. They then try to do an ordinals collection. That didn't work. They sold a very small amount of the supply Third there. They, charm, baby. They then did a launch on Say, which I think they took a snapshot or something, and this isn't like more of a, an art piece or something, but I don't know yeah, how that Four works. times the charm. <laughs> so now the meme coin, and I don't know if, if they're actually going to launch a meme coin, but maybe they have to now because of that tweet because now dead fellas are up to, you know, they did a 2X because of the tweet. So I don't it's know. It's funny. If I kept talking about it, she'd call me sexist. So I'm not going to uh, post about it, you know? Um, <laughs> well, maybe, yeah. <laughs> Look, I, I owned a dead fella for a while. I lost quite a bit of money. on. I made a little bit of money, actually, initially when they got up to like three, four, five ETH. And then I bought one at like 1.2 ETH. I was like, yo, this one's cool. I'm going to get into it again. And then I would have criticisms for the collection, like Nick was saying. And then I got called like... uh I was criticizing the project and it was like, no, dude, you are uh stop criticizing. That's a sexist thing to say. I was like, no, I'm I'm not criticizing B- 
Betty or women. I'm just saying. Oh, you, hey, you got the sexist oh, I thing did. also? I, I got it too, what the hell? They're, they're like, uh, Dead Fellas is known as the cancel culture collection, basically. They're, but the, they fail at canceling literally anybody, but they definitely come after you. Betty, you followed me, then unfollowed me. I once posted a random tweet being like, these are the top NFT people. And it was like five dudes. But it was like, she took that tweet so seriously. It was like, this is what's wrong with this space. It was a random tweet. I was literally just trolling people. And 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 she she came back and thought it was like completely legitimate. Um, look, I I want the previous collections to to win. Dead Fellas was one of the more relevant collections, but we've seen got you a big airdrop. Yeah, I ended up making a lot of money on Dead Fellas. I'm sure because it was unfortunately ver on chain verifiable randomness. Because if it wasn't, there's no way I would have gotten it. Like the, oh, yeah, the, yeah. The, she was not happy the, about your about your big ass airdrop, which she then sold for that I dumped at the Pico top. Actually, there was someone that just outbid right after me. There was one sold, so I sold the second highest. I was the one that set the market. Someone went higher, and then it dumped right after that. Yeah, you well, you were very close to marking the Pico top on that. I look, I don't know what's gonna happen with dead fellas. We'll see how that plays out, but it everyone is just Everyone cares about meme coins right now, and it kind of bums me out, if I'm being honest. We have K-Money also teased that he's dropping a meme coin. Nate Rivers is potentially no, dropping that was one. an April Fool's joke, dude. Well, uh, K-Money tweeted that. Got him. <laughs> tweeted that March 31st. At Well, on your time. All right. Well, maybe maybe K-Money's not dropping one. May hey, color me bamboozled. Color me bamboozled. Then maybe I guess they're not dropping one. 47 people say that they're launching a meme coin because they all thought that was the most hilarious thing. It's like April Fool's is all in, a, like, apparently the first, the one day that you get to make a joke. Mm. Hey, this would, doesn't seem like, this doesn't seem like a joke to me. Yeah, I, I wouldn't click that link. Actually, you should <laughs> click it live on air. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Don't do it. I just clicked it. Ooh, okay. <laughs> All right. So, look, I don't. I don't why really they, know why would they launch, dude. The whole launching a token thing is absolutely ridiculous. Who's a known person that's actually succeeded with this? MFR has kind of succeeded. It's it's popular for literally twenty four hours, and then people are out saying this is what you have to do. It's 24 hours defined strategy for five years, basically. Every investor is like, here's what you got to do. You got to go launch the meme the meme coin. Clearly, MFers has defined a generational tr transition and strategy of an entire market because for fucking three hours, their token is pumping. No one's going to give a fuck about this token in three days. This, this is the most ridiculous thing. This is the shittiest advice. It shows why all the, quote, institutional investors in this space are also big fucking jokes. All of them. But shout out to the ones that want to invest. We'll be having conversations soon. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't but know what kind of <laughs> sexist cesspool I just walked into right now. Oh, my God. I can feel the sexism just okay. bleeding out of Nick's you're voice. You're, right late, you're late on that joke. Well, no, I mean, I, I just heard you call out all the the female investors, and so I don't know. I, but I, 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 I'm not. I didn't say anything uh, different about it. But all these fucking losers dropping meme coins, dude, left and right. It literally like the the amount of loserness that's like that I can feel off of them. By the way, you can have money and be a loser. I just want to clarify that. Like, there's yeah. a definitive possibility. So shout out to those that have made money. But like everyone's like. Uh, you know, throwing everything else away in their life at the at the feet of uh, praying at the altar of greed. Yeah, you know, the, the the random new meme coin bullshit is wild. Um, it's also wild, like you said, Nick, when people are like, "You have to do this right now," which is just a hilarious business proposition. It's like, yeah, your business strategy is just like do something with one week Dude. timeline in mind. Forget about four fucking years from now when you run this business that you raised venture capital for that you have ten employees at. Like, what the it, fuck are you it, talking it, about? It, it, it makes me question. Um, it makes me question those investors just period. Um, and, and it's like, 
why like they're like oh are you thinking about launching a meme coin it for them they just need to get capital into the hot thing basically is like all that the investors need to do so they're trying to just like have a quote relevant conversation but i'm like most investors don't have e any like business operating experience um other than running their fund which yes it is technically a business um but the business of pressing buttons uh well, in that in venture capital, you're not pressing buttons. Um, kind of pressing a button, pressing the wire button, the Calendly button. Yeah, okay. um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, at the end of the day, man, I, I I think the meme coin stuff is fine. I think you know a lot of people, you know, get upset about it or whatever. But it's kind of like you know, you know, believing in freedom of speech. You know, people are going to say some dumb shit, but like you still like so you believe in freedom of money. You know, you got to have to kind of believe in it all the way you know and let people people should be able to do whatever they want you know and uh, of course whatever, I, I they like, want, whatever they want you know uh, of I course like the nick, main points yeah nick but, got me on mf -er. and i'm go. i'm in i'm boba opa now and i'm in big boba Nub, opa guy. and i'm still holding some other tokens as well that'll go unnamed but the the bottom line because i like keeping the outfit of myself but no, I'm with you though. Like seeing on the timeline where people are like you have to like you have to a two week window to strike now. Like you gotta get. It's just the weirdest like business thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like throw like throw your entire operational plan out the window, dude, and just follow the the trend, the and, short term and trend. The trend that also results in the chart that looks the same every single time. It goes up and then it comes down. Having said that, I Nick to, uh, told me about the MF or meme coin one hour within one hour of it dropping, or maybe it was three hours. And I was like, three hours feels early enough to me. I was like, look, I'm late for crypto. I'm late, but like three hours feels early enough to me. I put a whopping 0.15 Ethereum in and took out a graceful, probably 0.25 Ethereum or something like that. There was oh, some I, I minuscule game. I think I made, I made probably the same amount. I think in total, I, I put in 0. 0.5 and I think I made 0. 0.15 or 0. 0.2 Profit Stacking gains like reps at the gym, you know. What I'm saying? <laughs> Having said that, I'm over here. Uh, so in my phantom wallet, random stuff pops in, right? I don't know if it's because of the mad lad, I don't know if it's because of the modagos, I don't know if it's because of other stuff, but random stuff pops in. So every once in a while, there's 30 bucks here, 80 bucks there. Every once in a while, there's like 600 bucks from some like moo moo the bull or something came in there, and that was oh, like a one. Six to eight hundred dollar thing in there. I was like, what the hell is this? I've been instead of turning those into Solana. Like I may have done in months past. Do you know what I'm turning them into? With oh, bonk. You bet. No, I already have. I have bonk on Coinbase because you can buy that with with fiat. But I'm turning all this free random money that pops into the Phantom Wallet into with into one of the majors into one of the the big meme coins. Dog with hat. The hat stays on kicks. That's I, I like that man. I, I like that. I like Just that saying. A lot, honestly, it's a it's a decent angle. Um, yeah. I mean, we'll we'll see where this goes. Nobody knows what this is outside of crypto right now, and I think that there's a lot of potential with Bonk and Whiff. What, what Clemente? What do you got to no, say? I, it, I agree that it feels like it's the same a thousand people just PVPing each other, and ninety percent lose the ten, top ten percent with the best information, the best trading maneuvers win. I saw Spencer tweeting about that. It's like Bitcoin's at an all time high. No, there's no net new participants. It feels like entering. Like it feels like maybe they're buying Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, but they're not getting into meme coins yet, other than like the tourists, maybe, right? Um, yeah, I mean, like look at like sharks and killer whales hunt. You know, they they got you got to get the fish up in a frenzy. You got to get them all like right, and then you eat. You know, and that's what they that's what they want everyone doing. You know what I, I mean? I, they, want I, you, they want you like sitting at your desk, feeling comfortable for about fifteen seconds, and then be like, "Oh, you didn't buy this, you fucking idiot! Get over here." Get over here to this chain and buy this, man. What are you doing? You're over there. You're, you're fucking late. Get over here and be early. You know, they, they, they need you in that frenzy. I do like that. studying predatory animal behavior to try to understand what's going on in the market. That is good stuff. I mean, Clemente, to, go, to tag on to what you were saying, though, like, I think it was CZ. I forget who it was that said this. If you can't hold, you won't be rich. This doesn't count for, like, a random meme coin that dropped yesterday that is a pump and dump scheme that's by anonymous founders. That doesn't count. But, like, if it's something valuable like Bitcoin, if it's something like a, a notable NFT project that you really believe is going to be here to stay, and right now, for example, NFT, 
NFTs are not what being favored by the market. If you can't hold, then you're not going to get rich. So you have to be able to wait it out. You have to uh, wait for new participants to come. You have to wait for new liquidity to come. I said that 69K was not going to bring in retail. A thousand percent. I got it on wax. You can look up my tweets responding to Zeneca and shit saying a hundred K is the starting point because people, dude, if there's anything I've learned in the past couple of years, if there's anything that I've learned from going with Nick into Washington square park to make those videos that we make, it's that you have to be so simple. Like people are like living under a rock. People are, they only see two feet in front of them. You got to be on the nose. You got to be so simple. And the bottom line is dude, new all time high Bitcoin. That's not like, that's not understandable. They're like, wait, wasn't it down though? Like it's, it really is like that. Like, wait, is that still a thing? I think a hundred K might be something that starts to get attention. Like, wait, yeah. it costs a hundred thousand dollars now. Like maybe it might be 150,000. I don't know. I don't know. At some point there's some number that makes retail people come. I think cycles, this cycle is a little bit different too, because last cycle people were literally getting stimmy checks just dropped on them. Dom Domino's workers were furloughed and making like 80k a year. You know what I mean? Due to all the all the juice in the system. The True. fact is, right now, most retail, guess where their guess where their money's going to buy groceries. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> there may not be retail in the traditional sense coming. The the retail that's gonna come this cycle is gonna be like the six-year-old boomer that has like you know three million net worth that <laughs> that's going to be like the retail of this cycle in my opinion. It, definitely or guys that watch barstool sports and do DraftKings sports betting and one yeah. of their friends uh gets a, hits it big on a meme coin they yeah. make 160k working as a sales guy or as yeah. a finance guy or yeah. something like that yeah. uh nick you want to weigh in with something i did but you guys just kept talking yeah whatever bro <laughs> this is just fucking bullshit dude hop in man Real random aside, okay. I just had a realization. Some guy came up to me yesterday. I texted uh, the group about this, who was like, literally did not introduce himself. It was like, yo, yo, bro, yo, can you, can I take a selfie with you? And then he was like, and, and his girlfriend, he's walking with his girlfriend, and he's like, yo, say true's rich to the camera. Say true's rich to the camera. And I was like, I don't even know who the fuck you are. I was like, I, I was like, what's your name? Uh, like what? Uh, am I just a dancing monkey? Yeah, like, I was gonna say he's, he's treating you like a dancing monkey. You gotta. What, what, what the hell's going on? And then he was like, "Yo, I know it's a joke, but man, all those people that don't get it, man, that's ridiculous." I'm gonna just start being like, "It's not a joke. <laughs> this is the real me." And, and there's no, there's no joke about it. I'm rich. And you're fucking poor, and that you just chose poor. Get the fuck out of here. Right, you'd really be a dick to him, to I'm, his face. I'm just going to lean into it now and just say, get the fuck out of here. If, or, if somebody or, treats you like a dancing monkey, I think that's the right approach. Nick, now that you're legit famous, you need to look up this interview that Amy Schumer did. Um, legit famous amongst some pretty famous uh, those people the... came up to you with that remember when we were at washington square park the kids were like over there they're like 20 something years old they came up to us with, and they had the phone they're like yo like are you this guy and they, they weren't even following you on twitter it said like it just said something about like rich guy twitter or something like that on the phone you know what i'm talking about uh when we first were going to shoot the dating video the people that came up and you're like these guys don't know who i am they just saw my face on the internet they don't even follow me they don't know anything about it they just know i'm a famous person but anyway amy schumer had an say they just know i'm a famous person i, just, I said i know i know it's I'm just a, familiar familiar people, you you keep talking of the uh you you speak with the level of uh uh, disappointment that you have to be quote on the nose. It's just like all these people, humans need simple messages. That's what marketing is. Okay. <laughs> so that's like, that, that's the foundation of it. And P, P, PO's like these fucking idiots. No, I'm not. Need to, need to, uh, they don't understand Bitcoin. I, I, they, they don't. Well, get they don't. Bitcoin. I, I'm they trying to help these people, man. I'm trying it. to. It's gonna go to a million bucks, so I'm trying to help these people. But what I was gonna say is, Amy Schumer had an incident when she was very famous after probably that movie Trainwreck or something like that, where a fan was like insanely disrespectful about asking for a picture, and uh, I guess it was like a gnarly experience, and it prompted her to no longer uh, do any photo 
photos with fans. So I think you're you're maybe going to be uh, experiencing. I hope you don't. I hope you don't. But you might be experiencing something similar in the near future. Come back to I'll, I'll let you keep driving things forward here. Yeah, sorry. I was looking up the uh, the the article in 2016. Amy Schumer says she will no longer pose for photos following encounter with aggressive man. So Nick, maybe that's where you need to uh, start pivoting into is uh, no photo policy. But after this week, because a lot of people. That's are why I said it. I'm going to get protection. <laughs> Stop that. You made it the joke already, and then you said I was inappropriating it. Um, but before we wrap up, we want it. nice word there, big dog. That was, that that's was a interesting. Gen Z education I, right I, there. I like that. Inappropriating. Come on now. Come on now. Hey, let's go. That's let's a go. Pretty good word. I actually Gen like Z. it. Hey, you look know. how satisfied with himself he is now. <laughs> All right. So let me up a word. <laughs> I want to talk at uh, Ordinals before we wrap. Uh, Nick and well, I don't know if you guys saw, but we saw we had two new mints on Ordinals this week. We had Ink, which people were disappointed with the launch, saying that the art looked too much like Azuki, and then just slapped on an orange background to it. However, it's been dominating. It's done almost 500 Bitcoin in volume in less than a week. And then do you own any? I do not. I do know we had only force reveal uh, yesterday. I think the art actually looks better on this one than uh, the than the ink. But this is also another one that's been launching, just taking liquidity away from other collections. Bitcoin puppets are down to 0.25. Node monkeys are down to 0.5. Basically, what's heating up here and what we're seeing play out is the anticipation of runes basically being the main storyline here. Uh, Nick Peel. Kicks. I don't know if any of you guys are actually plugged into runes or have any exposure here, uh, but Nick, if you're seeing, I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit. I hope you don't mind. Um, I know you've been pretty pro ordinals, more pro than myself and PO in terms of wanting to get involved. Is there any more collections than, yeah. here that I would, yeah, more than PO for sure. Is there any collection here that strikes your eye? I know you've been eyeing node monkeys for a while. Are you in a position where you'd consider buying any of these collections that you see on your screen right now? I have been thinking about which ones to buy, like or which one to buy. To to buy Node Monk uh, monkeys at 0. 0.5 is a su substantial amount of uh, capital. Um, so I've been debating it while Pio just keeps disrespecting ordinals left yep. and right and saying they're stupid. Um, one of the things. Uh, so I've been trying to figure out which project to get in, despite all the hate. Every time I see Pio, he just tells me don't don't waste your money on this stupid fucking things and i'm just like yo i'm buying uh i think i'm buying bitcoin puppets um in all honesty i i don't know it seems like there's this whole rune thing going on it's way too complicated for me to understand what's going on like all these people trying to get creative and make it difficult for me to understand what to do like it's way easier when it's like here's a picture buy it here's a token buy it bless you Runes are like these things that I have to like, uh, I have to jump through all these hoops. So, and, and, I mean, you rune stones. This, rune stones, for example, Nick, you're buying, let's say the market cap, you basically multiply the, the floor times the total supply times what the price of Bitcoin is. You're basically buying into a meme coin presale. There's going to be meme coins on Bitcoin and you're buying an allocation for it. And there's an argument to be made that airdrops are going to be sent to rune stone holders, et cetera. But that's basically what you're going to get. For every rune stone that you hold, you get a specific allocation of a meme coin on Bitcoin is the way I understand it. R6 are a little bit different because holding the ordinal gives you, uh, they like mine the rune over time. But the long and short of it is that's kind of how it's been working out. But I'm, I'm more interested on what you think on the node monkey side or Bitcoin puppets. What's interesting here and my dilemma with ordinals is that there's no execution risk with a lot of these. Like you look at Bitcoin puppets, there's no execution risk on it, but the relevancy factor is what's kind of holding me uh, apart from wanting to buy one. Versus Quantum Cats, there's execution risk, but you have Udi at the helm and Udi being controversial, Udi continuing to build, Udi actually doing something seems like a better value prop, at least for me, the way I like to, to look at things. But I don't know. I mean, other than that, is there anything else that you're interested in? Would you actually pull the trigger on it is more of my question. I don't know if this is something that would be interesting for you when you look at node monkeys at $35,000 versus just putting, just putting it on and holding the Bitcoin. It's um, all in cycles, you know? So 
it, you know, it's they're pulling back now. There'll be there'll be another Ordinals run. And thirty five thousand dollars is like pocket change. You pocket know? change for that guy. She's so, right. I think the execution risk uh, saying is like probably one of like the dumbest things that I've heard over like the past two years. Personally, I think people just make up words, you know, for stuff to like support their bags. Like there's there's no execution risk. Like like what like what does that even like? Mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like what is what does that even mean? You're basically saying that like you know like it, it, yeah, it's better to buy like a company that literally has no products because then you don't have to worry about them launching a bad product. You know what I mean? Um, it just doesn't make sense to me. I mean, just like buy the fucking meme coin or just buy the art, right? You don't have to like come up with this like thesis that like there's like no execution risk. That it doesn't make any sense to me. Um, but yeah, dude, I mean, Ordinal's hot, man. Fucking hell of a cook. Have you gotten in those back in November? It looks like they're consolidating a little bit now. Um, 35K, you know, that ain't cheap. That, that, that ain't a cheap buy. I mean, you got to be thinking like those, you want that to go to 100K. You want to feel confident that's probably going to 100K to, to buy that. But yeah, I mean, and also what's going to happen to all those projects, like if the liquidity does switch to runes, like what everyone's, everyone's saying. That does feel like it's going to happen. I'll share one thing before we wrap. The Bodago Super Pact, it's been um, over two months, I think, two months since we launched. We bought an OMB last night. We bought Whoa, orange look at you. Orgo Max, guys. Oh, we are in it. Right. It was the goal of, of what the pack wanted to do. If I'm being completely honest, I was heavily against it. Wow. I did not want to do it. So, but every single move I've made in the last 30 days has not played out. So we did get one. Um, you know, that's what the super pack is for. You get exposure to things that you typically wouldn't do. Mm. Um, we, we dabbled in it. We dabbled it's probably a pretty good buy. I mean, there's no execution risk. And uh, no, but honestly, I think like buying an OMB here is probably probably a good thing. I mean, I think if Ordinals pump, uh, they have a really high correlation there. So I could see those, those going up. I have a question. Why were you against it, Clemente? I, I have a hard time just, I don't know. I, I'm a, I'm a fan of, of ZK. I'm a fan of what's going on, but I don't, I don't mind. I'm not a huge fan of like the mysterious, like, Hey, you know, there, something might be coming here. Something might be coming there. You saw that tweet he put out when he, that letter was positioned in this specific way and how he updated his bio three seconds ago with the 420 thing. That means that the having is coming up and that means that we're going to be getting an air, like that stuff for me historically has never worked out and I'm not a huge fan of like everyone thought Zagabon was this absolute genius because he was doing all this mysterious stuff. And then he ended up just dropping and raising $40 million with another mint. So I don't know. And so it's never worked out for me, but knowing the group and knowing these guys, my trades haven't worked out at all in the last three days. I'm like, Hey, you guys go do your thing. I'm going to yeah. support, I'm going to vote. No, but the majority won and we voted yes. So we got one, but. Well, yep. what I'll, uh, I'll say real quick and then I'll throw it to kicks is that, uh, you know, Nick had pointed out that maybe uh, some of your trades hadn't worked out over the past month. So treating you like a counter signal right now is an interesting thing to do. So there's that going on. The other thing is that I do think that the super PAC might have a bias toward that particular collection. And you see that from time to time in NFTs, there's just something probably related to the mystique that you pointed out in general, the NFT market loves a good case of mystique. You brought up Zagabond as an example. Uh, Frank had mystique before he docks and you saw the success that happened there. Those that are able to execute and capture mystique typically have done quite well in the beginnings of, uh, you know, the NFT um, when they roll out their NFTs kicks. Yeah. I was thinking that, you know, they OMB, they probably do something cool with the rune stones. Right. Um, so that's probably, that's probably the whole 420 hidden thing. They're, they're probably cause rune stones will be out by then. Right. So uh, I hate that name rune stone. It just sounds weird. Just call it coins. You know what I mean? Coins on Bitcoin coins on well, Bitcoin. It but sounds like, like I, a video I, game thing, right? Rune stones, like, no, a video it sounds like, a, like a Celtic, like, you know, like witch trial or, you know, like some sort of like, you know, you're like, you got to put the rune storms in the right order. And then Odin comes down to like, bless your village ahead of the war. Um, but yeah, I bet they, I bet they get some rune stone drop or like something like that. Dude. So, I mean, that could be pretty cool. And Clemente, I actually don't think you're uh, the counter trade. I think that you, you have great ideas. I just think, which is very common, especially when you know you just get caught up in in the hype of like what everybody on the timelines talking about, right? And so then you're chasing instead of instead of planting your feet like Ed on Purdue, 
sitting under the fucking basket seven seven, just saying, I you don't see Ed go out try to take three pointers, right? You know, he's sitting inside the key and he's fucking just bodying people and just hitting layups all day. I think you just got to play your own game of basketball, Clemente. Like you, you got to buy those little like nuggets, whatever those little nuggets. Little, little potatoes. Up little potatoes, five minutes, man. Exactly, dude. Like you, you, you got the good trades, man. You just got to say, hey, I'm not going to get outside the key. I'm not going to go through, shoot three pointers with, you know, Stephen Curry. I'm going to sit inside. I'm going to hit my fucking layups. You guys play your game. I'm going to play mine. You know what I'm saying? Like Stephen Curry, baby. Uh, yeah, I think baby. it's time to wrap Clemente. Uh, if, I think Nick's been uh, been done with the show for about eight minutes now. No, he's looking at Boba. He's, he's like, I'm going to go get a Boba tea. Is my Boba going up? Yeah, it, but I do think, long story short, I think April's going to be my month. It's been, I took, I went 0 for 15. I was looking at two cats fighting each other, dude. And let me tell you, it was a pretty intense battle that was going on on my screen there. <laughs> wow, okay. It was a key uh, cat, the cat with the keyboard? No, it was, the keyboard cat doesn't get into fights. He, he just, just plays, plays the keys. Yeah, this yeah. was two cats fighting, and then a third one came in as an, as an intermediary to, or as a mediator to break up the, the situation. And they did resolve the the issue, um, and now the couple is in therapy as a result. Is, so, is that tying into a meme coin here, or is it just like a like a video? This is literally just a random video. Okay. Um, That's yep. fine. I'm sure someone will turn it into a meme coin. Uh, I doubt it. Well, I appreciate you guys joining us, everyone that listened in. We're going to be back at the same time You're tomorrow, welcome. 9 a.m. Eastern. Uh, one more quick shout out to Karate Combat. You can go to karate.com slash app, download the app, and you receive 88 free karate. Uh, they have a bunch of new events. We got Token 2049, April 20th, a consensus on May 30th. That'll be the Bitcoin versus Ethereum fight, which we're going to be covering a lot more of in the coming months. See you all tomorrow.